They're ready to go. Four people shaking hands today as opposed to the normal three you see in our opening match, but it, it is a doubles format. The first bowler up is Brenda Norman. Just 25 years old, three years a pro. And this is going to be a scotch doubles format. The players will alternate frames. That's right, Jan. Uh, Brenda will take all of the odd frames, first, third, fifth. Carolyn, the even ones. All right, Brenda! All right, fair enough. Come on. Obviously coming a little high. Carolyn's mic'd. You can hear her commenting. Spirit up. Come on, come on. It's part of the encouragement we've ta you talked about at the top of the show. Brenda crossing over, leaving a 3-10 split. There are two ways to make this, but the ideal way is to fit the ball in between the 3 and the 10. She's going to go to a ball with a lot less friction. There's not going to be very much hook on this ball. She's going to try and fit in it in there for a conversion. Come on. Oh. All right. And she could have used a little bit of friction there to catch the three pin. Well, it's early yet. Tough beginning for that team. Marianne Rupo, 32 years old. This is her 34th television appearance. She has some experience, and she's bowling leadoff. Great Excellent. way to start the team. Excellent opening shot by Marianne DeRupo. Now, in contrast, Kelly Kulik really only has a little bit of television experience. One collegiate show, one team challenge show. But they've chosen for her to bowl anchor. Why, Lisa? Well, when you see her physical bowling game and her mental attitude will match that great physical game, you'll know why she's bowling anchor. Just saws the five out into the seven. What a great shot. It's a tough team. Carolyn Doran Ballard, 34 years old. We just saw her win the event in Jacksonville, Florida, just three tournaments ago. Two tournaments ago, actually. We had a two-month break here. Coming up pretty light there. Um, Carolyn choosing to play the deep inside line. She played all over during the week. I think she played probably five of the arrows on the lane, anywhere from first arrow to fifth arrow. But she is talented enough to do that. This girl practices. You just would not believe the hours she practices, game after game. Covers it up. Leanne Barrett. Wendy McPherson Papanos and the rest of the PWBA stars return to Indianapolis for the crown jewel of the PWBA tour, the WIBC Queens. Join all your PWBA favorites for the Pro-Am Sunday, May 16th. Contact Dan Smith at 317-352-1848 for all the Pro-Am and tournament information. Good shot. Come on. Yeah! Wow, big break, and we saw, That's right. I saw so many of those types of hits this week. <laughs> That's right, Jan. The inside part of the lane is pretty dry in there. As you're going to notice, everybody playing in right now, that is where the, the hook spot is on the lane. That's where you're sure you can throw it, and the ball's going to get back to the pocket. Marianne's first appearance this year. But as I said, 34 overall on her career. And another strike for Darupo Kulik. Darupo Kulik team is in the lead. Just through three frames, though, we'll be back in just a moment. On finals of the track, KO Punch Doubles are being brought to you by MasterCard. There are some things in life money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. And by AMF Bowling Worldwide, the largest owner and operator of bowling centers in the world and one of the leading makers of bowling products. AMF always means fun. 
We're back at Samstown. While we were gone, the team of Derupo and Kulik continued to throw a knockout punch with two more strikes. Have to mention now that MasterCard has put up that $50,000 bonus for 300 even in the Scotch Doubles event. Well, and one more right here. We'll make it halfway through. Come on, Kelly. Come on, Kelly. I you guess think we I did it. Yep, oh, yep. boy. We did, but we were, you know, it was really the producer in the truck told us to say that. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we'll throw it on him. Kelly Kulik just missing a little bit right on that shot. Well, I have to mention right here in the fourth frame, Kelly did strike, but it did go Brooklyn. So I have a feeling that that was a little bit of an adjustment. She crossed over left of the head pin last time, gave it a little bit more room that time. Covers the spare nicely. Carolyn Dorn Ballard is going to be stepping up here in the sixth frame. Her team continued to have trouble during the break. Carolyn spared, but Brenda Norman, a washout. So you see the titleists so far this year Leanne Barrett, Lisa Bishop, Carolyn Dorn Ballard up on the approach right now, one Jacksonville, and Orlando, one by Liz Johnson. Come on. I was holding off to listen to what she had to say. I knew it would be amusing. Not very happy with that shot, obviously, leaving the 6, 7, 10. Well, I believe we heard her call herself a jerk. Is that what she said? Well, and, and that's not the best approach to the positive mental attitude, but it seems to work for Carolyn. Come on. Another disastrous frame for Norman and Doran Ballard. And Lisa, everybody motivates himself in their own way, right? How do you do how do you do it? My motivation comes from more work. Uh, many of the bowlers out here choose to practice more, to learn more about equipment, to get with some knowledgeable people in the sport of bowling, and I think that's a, that's the way I choose to do it. I know the harder I work, the Come better on. I bowl out here. Coming up light, the 2-5. Now, this is a difficult time for this team. You see Carolyn still trying to pump up Brenda Norman. How do they motivate each other to come back when they're so far behind in this match? Well, I think they're going to have to, to work on seeing how the equipment is playing on the lanes. They obviously right now are not getting a very good ball reaction. And they know more than anybody, they had better start striking right now. <laughs> well, um, Carolyn knows how to pass that along, Lisa. The same thing uh, happened, I believe, uh, you bowled with Carolyn. You guys have a double title, and it was her first telecast, and you were doing the same thing with her. It's okay, it's okay. Now we're looking at Marianne DeRupo. <sighs> Tough break leaving that seven pin. Marianne, very relaxed right now. She knows she has a good shot, so right now they're just going to get all that they can right in the pocket. Watch the four pin go straight back. Just, just playing a bad break. Covers it up, and they really don't have a whole lot to worry about here. Just kind of try to stay behind the foul line and hit the pins and continue on. That's right. 84 pin lead through seven frames. So right now they're going to be working on keeping the line that they got, uh, seeing if the balls are going to start hooking a little bit more, because I guarantee you they will start hooking more. For career 300 games, this would be a different type. It's all over, but they'll have a few more chances at it, or at least one more chance, leaving the 10 pin there. She's blowing out some air. She can't. You think she could be nervous at this point? Well, I'm sure she is a little bit. This is her first telecast for uh, pro tournaments. So, you know, she also knows that she's got a partner that she cannot let down. That's always a big factor in team bowling. You don't want to let anybody else down, much less yourself. 
Sometimes it's more pressure to bowl as a doubles team, sometimes less. It, it can work both ways. She covers up this barrier. Carolyn and Brenda told us how they communicate for doubles, or really, how they don't. We don't work together as a team. We didn't speak, we didn't do anything, and here we are. So, you know what I mean? There's, there's something to be said for silence is golden. But, uh, no, we... <laughs> No, 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 that's not true. No. We really did our own thing, right? Yeah. And then when one of us saw we were in trouble, we just said, hey, what do you think? And we did have fun, though. We laughed yes, a little bit and cracked fun, jokes. Yeah. And Trying and to keep relaxed. And yeah. And we were comfortable supportive. with each other. And here we are. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that that team had a lot of fun bowling. And there it is. All right, come on. As, as Brenda said, I, she just left <laughs> Carolyn alone. She knew she'd figure it out. And you might have heard Carolyn say, come on, let's double up for 180. I'm like, I'm they're having fun I'm right now. <laughs> Watch the classic style of Brenda Norman. Watch how low she gets to the foul line. Look at that knee bend right there. Come Good follow-through. Great result. I, I have nothing to say. I just want to watch this. This is, this is great. They have Marianne even laughing at them. <laughs> Marianne coming high. Now, how they need to stay a little bit motivated so they can keep making good shots for the next match. How do they do that for themselves? Well, I think Marianne, number one, has to forget about that shot. She just got a little bit lazy there, did not stay aggressive. They're going to have to settle down in the last couple of frames here, and especially after this match is over, regroup because they've got a lot of work ahead of them. Barely picked that one up. Kelly Kulik stepping up. I want to take a moment. One of the players missing this week from the show, Carol Giannotti Block. We mentioned at the close of our last swing that she had elbow, was going home for elbow surgery. As you see, this team leads by 71 pins. She did have the surgery. It was successful. She's ahead of schedule with her therapy. Her arm is straight. She's already doing a lot of therapy. And, and was, she was back in the States for the Salute to Champions a couple weeks ago. Kelly coming up, actually totally missing the head pin there, but again irrelevant in this match carol's doing great she wants to say thank you to everyone that called sent emails cards and steve wonderlick and phil cardinal from track want to wish her the, all the best well we all miss her out here uh, i know that a lot of people you know they'll say they miss her but i'll tell you what she's on the telecast so many times and she's taken a spot on the tv show that uh, boy you know it's kind of nice to have that extra spot in the show for people, I guess, but we all wish her well. Kelly spares that up. In fact, 12 spots last year Carol took up, so you're right. A lot of the players are happy, huh? Well, I'll tell you, she has had two phenomenal years, and it, it, uh, hard work does pay off. She's put a lot of time and effort into it. She's worked a lot on her game and with equipment. She's learned a lot, and, and it shows. Well, the production crew wants to extend their best wishes to her also. Kelly Kulik trying to finish this off here. Final score for the Durupo Kulik team, 229. Doran Ballard and Norman finishing up in fourth with 6,000. Garupo and Kulik will step up the ladder, but first when we come back, Carol Giannotti will share her advice on bowling accessories.